Hey guys, today I'll be showing you my favorite go-to back and buy as a workout. As always, watch till the very end so that you can take a screenshot of that workout diagram to take that with you to the gym. It has all the reps and sets for every exercise in this workout. Let's get started. First up, we will be doing lap pull downs with this D grip slash handle attachment with the two handles on either side for two warm up sets of 20 reps, then four working sets of 15 reps. Since this is a lat focused movement, we want to make sure our elbows are coming into the sides of our rib cage when we pull down, not behind our backs. Feet stay flat on the floor at all times, but stays on the seat at all times. I'm not leaning back in order to pull the weight down, I'm controlling the weight, not letting it control me. Going right into our next exercise, we will be doing a superset. Four sets of 15 reps for each of these two upcoming exercises. The first exercise in this superset, I'm not sure if they have a real name, but we're going to call them behind the head kneeling rope pulls. The second exercise in this superset are cable bicep curls. We'll do 15 reps of the behind the head rope pulls and go immediately into 15 cable bicep curls. For each of these exercises, rest about 90 seconds between each set. My entire outfit is from Riderwear. If you want to check out any of their stuff, I'll leave my discount code and link for you guys down below. Going right into the cable bicep curls, I'm going to adjust the height of the cable so it's as low as it can go. I'll be using the same attachment as well. Keep your elbows tucked into your sides, not out in mid-air, and use those super strong biceps to pull the weight up. Exhale as you curl, inhale as you release the weight. Coming up, we'll be doing kneeling single arm cable rows for 4 sets of 15 reps per side. I'll be using a handle attachment and adjusting the height of the cable so it comes to about my chest when I'm kneeling. If during any of these back exercises you feel as though you feel it more in your biceps or arms more than your back, lower the amount of weight you're using and focus instead on that mind to muscle connection. As always, good form is always more impressive than lifting heavy. Taking a short break here to refill with my Legion Pulse pre-workout. Make sure to use my discount code for 10% off whenever you need supplements. I'll leave the info in the description. For this next exercise, we have single arm bent over dumbbell rows for four sets of 10 reps per side. Make sure to keep your spine neutral and touch the inside of your elbow to the side of your ribcage as you pull up. Your elbow should never be in mid-air when you pull up. Again, if you're feeling this exercise more in your arms than your back, grab a lighter dumbbell and work on building that mind-to-muscle connection with your back muscles.
Next, we have a bicep exercise. The machining preacher curls for four sets of 15 reps. Add a weight if you'd wish, but the machine itself may be heavy enough already. I'm keeping my elbows on the pad at all times, exhaling as I curl and inhaling as I lower the weight. Use every ounce of your strength to finish these sets. The final exercise in this workout are 21s for 3 sets. These are bicep curls done with an easy bar or pre-rated bar. Each set consists of 21 reps, starting with 7 reps at the bottom, bringing the weight up until your elbow makes a 90 degree angle. Then 7 reps at the top, bringing the weight down until your elbow hits a 90 degree angle, and then a 7 final full reps. Rest and repeat again another 2 times. Make sure to keep your elbows tucked into the side of your ribcage and not in mid-air. And that completes today's workout. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and if you haven't already, of course, subscribe to my channel and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out on more awesome workouts. For daily fitness and workout tips, like me on Facebook and follow me on Instagram. Thanks for working out with me today, guys.